The Leipzig Bach Fest is an incredible festival of German composer Johann Sebastian Bach's music held in Leipzig every year. They invite the best musicians from around the world to Leipzig, where Bach spent the last 27 years of his life, and where he composed great masterpieces. It's the Leipzig of the Goldberg Variations, the Art of Fugue, the last pipe organ preludes and fugues, and many of the 300 or so cantatas he composed in his life, and the Mass in B minor, which is always the finale. The Bach Fest starts every year on Friday in early June with a public performance at the Marketplatz and goes for another 10 days and 160 or so performances scattered at venues around Leipzig. It's like a film festival. These performances are scattered at Leipzig venues, ancient and modern. Some venues are large concert halls, and some are intimate rooms like the salons of the Mendelssohn House and the Schumann House. To make things easier for the culture tourist, that's you, I decided to put together a walking tour. One note, this year there's a lot of construction work going on. I mean, that's fine. When I see construction workers, I see presents for their kids under the Christmas tree this year. No worries, I'll insert some pics from previous years too. So, using a handheld camera in real time, here we go. Hi, we're at Augustusplatz in Leipzig. Short walk, short talk from here, from Augustus Platz to Thomas Church, across the middle of town, through uh, on uh, Grimaisha Strasse. Um, just to point out some of the um, Bachfest venues. And uh, sorry for all the construction and stuff. I'll, sh I'll put some photos in uh, of uh, what it looks like without this stuff. This is the Gewandhaus uh, orchestra's uh, auditorium built in 1985 to replace an older structure um, back and 85 was still uh, part of East Germany it was before reunification they weren't into this kind of grand architecture but Kurt Mazur must have uh, talked them into it the acoustics inside are, are really perfect they used uh, East German troops they put them in there to, to test the sound with an audience in there. That must have been a tough gig. Uh, and of course, the music is in here. There's a lot of music in here. This the tallest building in uh, Leipzig, the MDR building. Not too relevant to what we're talking about. Also not relevant is this museum with, uh, I'm gonna try and zoom in on the odd uh, sculptures at the top. There we go. It's odd. It's a uh, Egyptian museum. I haven't been there. They say it's good. It's a little bit, uh, you know, like co colonial European museum with stuff in it. So I've kind of avoided it, but uh, while I'm here, I might as well check it out. We're walking east. Now behind me, if you go in that direction, uh, one tram stop. There is another museum that's definitely worth going to. That's a grassy museum. So you can walk it, you can take a tram. I'm going to walk around this. But it's a museum of museums. They have uh, anthropological museum, they have a musical instrument museum. Now, that's Grimaisha Strasse. I'm going to take a little detour and go through the university because there is an auditorium in here where there are Bachfest uh, venues and then we'll come out on uh, Grimaisha Strasse. This part of the university is brand new. I mean, it's finished in 2017. There was an ancient, uh, ancient medieval uh, cathedral here, St. Paul's, I think, where I believe uh, 
Johann Sebastian Bach played a couple of his last um, preludes and fugues for pipe organ. 544, the B minor, and 538, 48. Okay, this is the way in to the actual event when there is one. There'll be a sign and people out right here. The acoustics and whatnot are really great, really beautiful. And uh, I'll, I'll throw in, instead of this blank gray wall, I'll throw in some stills of uh, how it looks inside. Last couple years, we've caught uh, Angela Hewitt, Canadian pianist, who's not on the calendar this year. Really sad about that. Sorry, I'm using a handheld gimbal. Angela played uh, the uh, second book of the Well-Tempered Clavier from memory. This town, this city, got uh, was uh, bombed in World War II, so a lot of the buildings were destroyed. And this is a combination of old buildings and various era post-war stuff. So architecturally, not that, uh, as a city, not that um, distinct. If you want to see old stuff, there is a town called Duderstadt, which wasn't touched during the war. It's all four and five hundred year old uh, Falkler structures. Okay, this should be, it isn't. This is uh, Nikolai Strasse and this Nikolai Church, uh, one of the primary uh, Bach Fest venues. You know, I'm going to run up there because it's not too, uh, so I'm turning right off uh, Grimmaischer Strasse and going up Nikolai Strasse. We'll just take a quick look at this. Uh, cathedral where Bach himself uh, was uh, the, I don't know what to call it, right here. The two of, this is one of the two of the four churches that uh, he uh, used to conduct in. This is really amazing place. Now it looks very old on the in outside. The inside was re- uh, Redecorated in this very newish, uh, sort of newish <laughs> Rococo design. And I'll put some photos up to show that too. A little odd, you know, but the uh, pillars have this kind of tiki bar looking theme that's odd, but it's only odd to me because I'm from an odd place. I wanted to point out that uh, Augustus Plots, where we started out, was named after Frederick August, who was the first king of Saxony and a contemporary of the first king of Hawaii, Kamehameha. They both had reigns in the early 1800s. It's uh, really a beautiful day here. And of course, the Galleria, you know. Yes, there is one. There is one here. Now we're coming up on some stuff here. You can see some older buildings. It's really a beautiful sunny day after a fairly long period of cold, uh, cold weather. So people are all out on the streets. This is a pedestrianized street, so 
there's some uh, public uh, transport kind of uh, stuff here, but not no uh, traffic, pedestrians and bicyclists. Boy, there's a lot of construction going on. It's probably a good thing. Oh, here, there's kind of a marketplace here. And when the sun is out, as it is today, there's all kinds of eating uh, opportunities <laughs> out in the open. Yeah, it's great. See that? Now behind this is the uh, Alta Bursa, the old uh, stock exchange. I'm going to walk up here a little bit. It was a the old stock exchange. It is now the uh, a venue and that's that I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on that and it's a uh, amazing I've never been inside I'm gonna go inside maybe this Bach fest but it's this rectangular thing that looks like a decorated uh, birthday cake you might get your daughter if she were a princess <laughs> and then scaled up it's very interesting I'm interested to check out the acoustics but this is a nice all in itself. Now, a lot of the um, buildings that go up, they have these malls now. So this probably used to be some kind of passage of something, but it is now um, a mall, all kinds of shops, restaurants, in the cool for the people that don't want to get sunburned. We're going to get a good look at something here. Okay, now here are a couple of landmarks. This is the uh, market plaza, market plots, marketplace, market plaza, uh, you, large open section where I'll walk up a little bit and they use that open space for a number of things during Bach fest they build a stage because there are events here and let me give you a tip is that uh, they do rehearsals live mic rehearsals so a great thing to do uh, is when they're having a live mic rehearsal come out here and sit at one of these places and have a beer. Last year we caught uh, Lang Lang rehearsing with the Gavant House Orchestra. And that was pretty cool. Looks like they're building the stage, so there's probably a rehearsal tomorrow, I'm thinking. Now this is an interesting building. And we're going to back up a little bit so we can see it. It's the uh, Alta Rat House, the old council chamber. And now has a number of uh, has shops and that kind of stuff. It is a Bachfest venue. Um, they use one of the rooms for, uh, for an event, for a concert, performance, I should say. But I'll back up and we'll get the... Uh, iconic view of it. Now this is a flat uh, plaza, so you know what? It would be great. It would actually be a train station here, but that would ruin things. But they managed to do both because what they do is they put the train station under the uh, under the plaza. So walk under here and 
that would be the train station. This is not the main train station. It's not the Hauptbahnhof, which is up that away is another little while. You can walk to that too. Let me get across the street so we can look at some stuff. Whoops. We want a kind of lot of crowds here. Very cosmopolitan crowd from all over. And it's not really... That's the Alterat House, the old council chamber. And there's not only a Bachfest venue in there, there's a great uh, Museum of the City of Leipzig. This is really, and that's worth checking out. It goes all from prehistory because this area was um, under human habitation for thousands and thousands of years. It's rolling hills and plains, great for hunting, growing stuff. You know, so they have like prehistoric stuff all the way through the uh, uh, riots, demonstrations against uh, for reunification. I'll put it that way. Anyway, I'm gonna go past here. And, uh, so I'm going back west to. Uh, on Grimaischerstrasse. Uh, I'm going to turn left here. See that tent? That's a Bachfest tent. That's where they house the musicians. No, I'm kidding. That's where they uh, sell tickets or if you have a ticket you want to exchange or see if somebody will buy, this is the place it'll be. I call this the Bachfest tent and it's air conditioned and it's a little kiosk here and it's very temporary. They must have just opened it recently, so that's nice. Now there's this little park here, which is really nice. Uh, let's walk through it. So, well, there are people feeding birds and stuff. I don't want to upset them, so I'm going to go back on the sidewalk, but you can see what the deal is. Okay. I'm walking fast, I'm talking fast, so you don't have to. <laughs> also using a uh, handheld gimbal, I hope, is taking some of the shakiness out of things. We're coming up on the right, the Commerce Bank. That's a old structure. That's where a hotshot named Paul Heinrich Eisenstein worked before World War II until 1933. I found his story on something called the Stumble Stone, and we're going to do that story maybe in another video. Okay, there it is. He used to drive his car from Inselstrasse here every day. This is the park. And this, my friends, is Thomas Church. This is the back. Now, a lot of you know that if you uh, are in, in a town that is unfamiliar and you're trying to find a place to eat or drink, you, you look for the spire of the church and you go to church because they're community centers. And uh, there's always a place to eat or drink nearby. I'm kind of holding off, there we go. And before we go to the famous statue, we'll just go walk around it because there's some stuff here that's interesting. This is the park that we walked around. And here's a restaurant, like you can sit outside and drink beer. Also over here, right on, in the shade of the church. Very often there are places like this directly in the shade of the church. We're walking now around 
Thomas Church. So Thomas Church is now to my right. We want to check a couple of things here before we uh, and it's a warm day today it's like it's, it's kind of like Honolulu with, with air conditioning I have a jacket on it's probably in Fahrenheit I guess it in the 70s I just want to show you the restaurants Next to Thomas Church. So if you get out of a concert and want to eat someplace, well, people here don't use Yelp. Uh, the thing I wanted to show you was this, that you need to go to. This is the uh, Bach Museum. It's right across from Thomas Church. It's definitely worth going to. Uh, they usually have a special kind of display on something related to the music or the period. And it's very modern and set up very well. So I wanted to show you that. And then we're going to loop back here, go back to the church. Because I wanted to show you, of course. The famous statue that you've seen by I can show you the background the spire and everything and uh, it's a life-size statue of Bach he was nine feet tall and no I'm kidding of course it's larger than life but then Bach was larger than life himself so he has kind of a scowl on he's Wondering why people are wasting their time taking his picture rather than, than uh, practicing. So. Now a lot of the rehearsals, okay, this is their like gift shop where if you wanted to get the, uh, the Bach postcard or the postcard of Thomas Church, of course, this is the spot. I'm gonna come back some political um, posters up. It's coming up on their election also, I do believe. So I'm going to go around the front of the church. Is there something uh, else to look at? And then we'll end our short tour. This is the front of the church where tour buses and whatnot uh, go stop, drop people off. They're coming from a venue that's not within walking distance. If it's within walking distance, I'd really advise uh, the walk because there's all kinds of cool stuff to see. This is the uh, front of the church okay in front of uh, Thomas Church there's another statue in front across the entryway path and it's uh, Felix Mendelssohn uh, why is Mendelssohn's statue here? Well, in 1840, I think around 1840, he was like 17. He was this like kid, and like somebody had showed him the uh, score for the Matthew's Passion, and he just kind of went crazy. And he said, "We got to show this. We got to do this thing as a as a concert." So he revived the performance of the Matthews Passion, and it was as a concert piece, not a church piece. He revived the interest in, uh, in Bach. So his statue is here, very fittingly. So we started our tour 
at the Gewand House where Felix Mendelssohn was a director and we ended here at his statue. And, and that's it for today. Uh, talk to you guys later. If uh, this has been helpful at all, then there's a link in the description. You can buy me a coffee or whatever. Okay, talk to you guys later. Bye.